So we are on a 12 pack. Yeah, we are on a vacation. I deserve 12 donuts for breakfast. We're gonna go on a hike later. I don't think that evens it out. It does. Today we're gonna be walking down the main drag, I guess you call of Charlottesville. I don't see a drag strip here, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We looked it up, it's got a population of 48,000, something like that. So you could either buy this town or a, a reasonably well option Silverado. So let's go and see what we can see in these little wonderful shops. Oh, that's just adorable. Well, that's just adorable too. Something tells me that that is not a hardware store, but it's adorable. So they've got this crazy thing. On every street corner, they list what is actually down the side streets in both directions. And Floride, your Floride French restaurant is this way. So that sounds nice. And there's an art gallery, which is a very, very original name for an art gallery. Don't worry about that. And just for some coins. He was a president. I don't know how many fountains are the proper amount of fountains, but this feels like the proper amount of fountains. Not too many, but a good amount. Franco Belgian, so James Franco's casual dining restaurant. Ironically, it looks uh, not casual at all, but maybe my casual version is just uh, not classy. This has nothing to do with Charlottesville, but I got a thing about prairie grass. Prairie grass is just grass that's been well, let's rephrase that. Weeds that have been let grow too long. What do you want your flower pots to look like? Um, how about amorphous blob-shaped beans? <laughs> well, I've got just the flower pot for you. My mind blown. It's a brick building that the brick has been painted, but just, just the brick um, was painted red over white. But it's got the tuck and point of normal color. So that means somebody came by here and painted every brick red intentionally i i i'm in the wrong line of work i could just be painting bricks all day we are at the nook it's like 9 30 in the morning and it's hard to get rum and cokes but we found a place that has rum and cokes so i've sat down there so over here i've got my orange juice uh, egg sausage cheese biscuit thing right here and she's trying to make it so we're not lost the entire day now we're going to wander around monticello this is thomas jefferson's private estate now we're gonna see what sightseeing things we can see on a sightseeing adventure sightseeing. Over here we have the gift shop museum and then another museum. And then over here we have another museum with another museum on top of it. And then there's a movie theater that probably just shows Blade Runner on repeat uh, every seven hours. And this is a museum, I guess, over here too. I would argue that this entire area is a museum. Now those, those are some good looking pillars. If you come to Monticello, you have to go to the back garden. That's where you keep the best gardening things. That's where I keep all my slippery, slithering, silly salamanders back in this area. And there's also some historical plants here, but that, that's just a little, don't, don't worry about that. I know I'm getting old when I just look at grass and I think, man, those are some good looking mower lines. <sighs> this is what bad knees and old age feels like. Nothing will declarate your independence more so than commemorative jams named after the Founding Fathers. But if that's not your style, you can always pick up the latest copy of the Declaration of Independence uh, right over here. We were enjoying a nice dinner, but uh, apparently the train goes right, well, well, right there. And I do love good train noises, but I don't love them with dinner. Do you like the good train noises? Yeah, that's the face of someone who loves a good train horn. U, U, V, U, V, A, UVA, University of Virginia. Virginia, Alabama. So we're on UVAB's campus and we found the Parthenon. Uh, Gene Rottenberry designed Pantheon. it. Pantheon. Pantheon, Panthers. And Gene Rot the Rotunda? There's a lot of words that are happening right now, but Tesla actually designed the Model A just over there. So back in the 13th century AD, the colonists used this to construct. Uh, shelter from the winds because the winds were bad back then and then they made ships and they sailed them over to that build uh, that ocean and that's how th that they brought furs to the motherland one two three four five six seven seven six there's a number of pillars there for a number of greek gods <laughs> today on matthew gets history wrong this is a church i think i well hey is this a church i'm getting i'm getting non-churchy vibes but Churches used to be made out of wood. This one's not. I, I don't, I don't, well, 
This church exists here and it's near the Parthenon where they keep all of the Zeus and the Greek gods, so I say it's a Greek church, so it might be made out of wood, I don't know. So it's a fresh, fresh new morning and I heard that they have apple cidery donuts uh, at like some sort of cider mill. So now we're trying to make our way to Martin Apple Orchard. Carter. Mar Carter, <laughs> same thing. Carter Apple Orchard. Um, but the 13 colonies have a wonderful way of arranging their streets that you just love. Even though we're not in the 13 colonies. Sort of. Well, I disagree. The frickin', they, they can't go in a straight line. <laughs> no, no, they cannot. Uh, they don't lay anything like a, like a grid that's like super north, south, east, west. -y. I miss you, Midwest. Yeah, so there's all these streets that come through just like diagonal that has like a little hook on the end that's like Carter's Circle and isn't a circle. There is, this is like a six point star up here for a stoplight and Good Lord. I don't know which direction we're going to go. I don't even know if we're going to make it to the orchard. Maybe they deliver to, to the six point intersection because I don't think we're going to make it. What is that? Come on. Come on, guys. Pull it together. Apple cider and scenic views and donuts? Are there donuts this way? <laughs> Florent donuts. <laughs> Follow this road up to the apple barn. There's an apple barn? Are there donuts this way? Donuts, go! No trespassing beyond this point. Are there donuts this way? Apple barn jeans with the donuts this way with the fur. So if you look really carefully, you can see Ames, Iowa from here. And then over here, you could probably see Nevada, I guess, or, or maybe Mexico, I don't, I don't know. And then this area is the plains, so I guess Kansas would be, well, over there with Iowa, well. Oh yeah. I'm really good. I really go. This is the best breakfast ever. We're gonna go apple picking, because that's how we got this bag. So, that happens over there. But until then, I'm gonna keep smiling my face full of donut. Yeah. Get in there. Get those thick boys. Oh uh, yeah. This one's a little smaller, but still, still acceptable. All right. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, those last two donuts are calling to me. Is there any difference between like a big apple and like a small apple? Does like the big apple taste better? Because we're picking big plump boys, but does that actually make it worse? Do little apples better, sweeter? Oh, I don't. She's lying, she doesn't know. She's just making it up. Well, you do eat more fruit than I do. I haven't had a banana in like six years. I feel like we could just like be picking out a random banana, or <laughs> we're not picking out bananas. These aren't bananas. I feel like we could just pick out the worst apples because we think they're like the best apples, but we think they're good. Yeah, that's how I feel. We don't know. We should probably just stick to buying apple cider donuts. <laughs> I'm good at that. Stick to what we're good at. Yeah, stick to, the, stick to good hobbies. Good old American hobbies. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these apples. Probably put them in my apple collection. Get one of the smaller apples and see if it tastes different. <laughs> that would be funny if that was the only good apple we picked. <laughs> so we got one we tiny got apple that tastes amazing. We're gonna hike in the Blue Ridge Mountains today and we haven't gotten to the hiking zone yet, but we pulled off on the side of the road to take all that in. We've made it to Shenandoah. National Park. We're gonna go on a little hiking adventure to Black Rock Summit. We've only been hiking for 11 minutes and 52 seconds. I've been keeping track. And we are already completely lost. We're not lost. Which way is Which way is the right way? Point four miles to the summit. Point eight miles to the summit. Lost. Totally lost. It totally looks like somebody just dumped a whole bunch of rock here. Uh, they call it Black Rock Summit. I would say it's more of a charcoal -y rock summit, but I mean, there's some black in it. Maybe like a dark gray. I feel like we should have gone to the ASPCA and asked to borrow a cat for the, well, I guess not borrow, but like foster. Foster a cat for the weekend and I could have like put it on like a baby bouncer on my back and we could have let it roam free in the natural wilderness. I think it would have liked that or it would have hated it. Nature would be so much better with a cat mauling the back of my neck right now. So we tried the first, well we didn't try, we succeeded on the first hike, but it was like a bunny hill level hike. Well, I mean, it was a hill, so it was like a bunny hill, except there was no snow. It was like a bunny, it doesn't, it doesn't need snow for a bunny hill. You came back for more. Yeah, I came back for more. So now we're trying out the Doyle's River Falls Trailhead. Trailhead, yeah, that's a great name. Uh, Cause there's a waterfall. 
So I came prepared. I brought Fritos um, and a map. I, I brought the solar charger. I bought the microwave. I got the blender. I got smoothies for us. I don't have any s'mores, but we, we can get s'mores. It's not the size of the waterfall. It's how you use it. We found a waterfall. We found, it the, well, the other one was basically just a hose that come out of a rock. So this is the first waterfall that's not a hose. Well, I mean, maybe there's a whole bunch of hoses up there. I don't know the hose, the waterfall situation. We're a distance inward, and there's another one that's a different distance inward, but at this distance inward, there's this one. Very, very clear on where to go. Now that is at least two, possibly three garden hoses to make this, this waterfall. This is the size that matters, waterfall. Yeah, this, is, this is nature on level nine and level 10, like it's up there. I think we found some backdoor action along the back side of the trail to go up to the first level of the waterfall. So we're gonna go up the, oh, that's a huge ant. Look at that thing. She is really giving it to that mountain. Not going up there. I wanna be down here giving it to that waterfall. Not up there risking my life. I love you. As Honey Pizza pointed out, it is very strange standing between not one, but dose waterfalls. A solid hike deserves a solid brew. Yeah? Mm, yeah, it's gonna get it. Oh yeah, it is. That's a really good sour beer. Oh, That's yeah. a really good stout. Nothing says keep walking like a stout. Like a meal for a beer. Yeah, now I wanna go take a nap. This is light and refreshing. Two naps. One for the hike, one for the stout. We weren't even planning on coming here and we just saw a sign. Yeah, and they said beer and I was like, wow. Let's go, let's go lay down.